Hey guys, in today's video, we are talking about why men come back to you and what to do to be the more powerful you for 2022. And this is not about being bitter. This is about knowing that you deserve better, period. Hey guys, I'm Angela Jean and welcome to my channel. Before we jump into the three reasons, I do want to start by saying, obviously, I, I understand that if you are not ready to let go of a relationship or you are not ready to let this person out of your life, then you're just not ready. The point is, is these relationships are spiritual journeys. You have got to dig deep within yourself to find what is trying to find you. Something within you is trying to express itself. Something within you wants out and it is gonna kick around in there and cause you so much pain until you finally decide that you have had enough and you are going to bring it to the surface and heal it, okay? So all I want these videos to be for you are seeds planted so that when you cross that bridge, when you get to that place where you are done and you're ready to fight for yourself instead of fighting whoever is the other person in your life, then you will have these videos as a point of reference, as those aha moments, like come back to them and use them, okay? So just let these be seeds planted, okay? So, <laughs> enough of my babble. So the first reason why men come back to you and what to do is, and I experienced this, is why I can speak on this, they leave you, they go date around, and they come back. You wanna know why they come back a lot of the time? They can't find anyone else that they can lie to that's gonna forgive them. They can't find anyone else that they can cheat on and is going to take them back. So they can't find anyone, so guess what? they come back to you and that is not a compliment because it's not because they're choosing you because they love you, it's because you will deal with their shit. So they come back. Do you really want this kind of partner in your life? No, but that is one reason why they come back. Number two, and I live in Miami, I have a lot of very hot single bachelor male friends. They like to keep their stables full, yes. <laughs> Anytime they need attention or they need that little dopamine hit of knowing that a girl's there, knowing that they have all these girls responding to them, they'll shoot a text. The I miss you text. How many of you guys have received this? The I miss you text is bait. Don't bite. <laughs> Do not let those words swim from your ears to your heart. It will keep you flipping the same page of the same story in the same book close the book you have got to know your worth and you have got to stick to your guns do not be a void filler in someone else's life and number three you like them so guess what when you're with them you're probably flirting with them and you're making them feel good about themselves they love how you make them feel I didn't say it was reciprocated, but they love how you make them feel. So whenever they're having a bad day, a low day, and they need some energy, attention from you, they will text you. Do not let someone use you to fill in the gaps of their day. And I know this is kind of like tough lovey stuff, but literally you have got to know your worth and stick to your guns, whether this is a relationship or whether this is someone new. If you're in a relationship and someone leaves and tries to come back, when you are together in that moment facing that problem, facing that challenge, that struggle, whatever it is, you're never gonna be more together than you are in that moment. You guys haven't broke yet, okay? You haven't had your first kink in the chain yet. In that moment is the moment where you need to decide as a couple, you're either gonna grab hands, put your heels in the ground and work it out together, or you're not. You are either gonna be a team and unite, or you are not. And if they leave, let them leave and do not allow them back into your life because you're gonna hit more walls, you're gonna hit more struggles. Relationships don't get easier. So if you're in a relationship and they wanna come back, what to do? is to let them go. Stop being the prostitute in your relationship. That's the girl, that's the pleaser, that's the giver. Bending your boundaries to please them. Nothing feels more powerful than you deciding that you are not gonna allow them access to you anymore. Nothing is worse, you guys, than waiting in limbo, waiting for someone to tell you what's going on in the relationship, tell you if you guys are still together, tell you if they wanna be with you. This is like the worst powerless place to be. So the advice I give you is to decide, do you want a pet, a player, 
a project or do you want a partner? You know what I mean? And this is not about being bitter. This is about knowing that you deserve better, period. Not bitter, you deserve better and standing up for yourself. Let them go continue on their spiritual journey with somebody else. You are moving on and you are moving up because you are looking for a partner. And until you make that clear by your actions and by applying what you learn from broken relationships and relationships that do not serve you, you will not attract him in. You will continue to attract the player in. You will attract the pet, the project, everything but the partner until you stand up for yourself, make a declaration and apply everything you've learned with boundaries. Okay, it's not about being bitter, it's about being better. And that is my advice to you on what to do when they come back to be the more powerful you for 2022. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget that I have created that free gift for you, which is in the link below. It is the worksheet called Break Ups or Break Throughs. And like I said, a breakup doesn't have to be love. Remember, it can be a work relationship, it can be a friend relationship. Regardless, it has 10 bullet points which are little seeds that I want to plant to help you along your spiritual journey and your spiritual path. When you're trying to figure out what these relationships mean, sometimes you just need a different point of view. So I have put together 10 different point of views that you can apply to your situation to help you be the most powerful you for 2022.